When cups can't agree, it's always most wise to meet in the middle with a good compromise. Good morning, class. Today we're beginning with an exciting new topic: birds.、Aww. And tomorrow we'll be going on a bird watching expedition through Birders Wood and to the Bearsonian Institution to meet with Professor Actual Factual. But Teacher Bob, birds are boring. Yeah, right, Tootal. Maybe we could study something really exciting, like dinosaurs. Actually, birds aren't boring at all. Even though I can see you're not exactly flying high about our new topic, I don't want anyone trying to duck assignments or chicken out of our class trip. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, brother, most experts believe that birds are the closest living relatives of the dinosaurs, even closer than lizards. So I think that makes them pretty exciting. Wow! I didn't know that. Birders would, huh? Perfect. While they're all looking for birds, we can look for a tree to build our ultimate tree fort in. Hi, Teacher Bob. Brother told me you're studying birds. You can borrow my feather collection if you like. That's very generous of you, sister. Thank you. If you're interested, you and Lizzie are welcome to come along on our class trip. Maybe you'll even find a few new feathers for your collection. Do you see them, Freddy? Got 'em, brother. Oh, look! Wow! Over there, guys. Its wing is broken. Actually, it's fine. That's a killdeer, and when something comes too close to a killdeer's nest, it tries to distract it by pretending to be injured. Wow, birds really are more interesting than I thought. We could put the rope swing up there and the trapdoor over here, right next to the rope bridge. This is definitely the best tree fort tree in all of Birders Wood. Does anyone recognize any of these birds?、Um, uh -uh. Nope. That's probably because all of these birds are extinct, which means that none of them are living anymore, like the dinosaurs. Exactly. Very good, boys. You mean they're gone?、Uh, sad but true, sister. There are also many endangered species of birds, which means there's just a few of them left. That's right, Freddy. And if we're not careful, they could soon become extinct as well. How can we help them, Professor Factual? One of the best ways is to protect their habitat, which means taking care of the place where they live. Right again, Freddy. I saw one of those birds today, the yellow one. A yellow popping jay? Are you sure, sister? There are very, very few of them left. I'm sure it was that one sitting in a big tree in Birders Wood. Cousin Fred even took a picture. See? I don't believe it. It is a yellow popinjay, and she's laid eggs. There she is. I see the popinjay. <laughs> Come on, guys. What are you guys up to? We're checking out our tree. Your, Your tree? tree? That's right. The one we're going to build our ultimate tree fort in. You can't build a tree fort here. This is the yellow popinjay's tree. Says who? Says. Says the yellow popinjay. She's already claimed it by building her nest and laying her eggs in it. That's right, Tootal. You'll just have to find another tree. No way. The bird can find another tree. There's a zillion good bird trees here, but there's only one tree good enough for our ultimate tree fort. Maybe it is the perfect tree for a tree fort, but you can't put the yellow popinjay and her eggs in danger by building your tree fort in this tree. Well, it's not up to you, now, is it? Um, I. Come on, guys. 
We've got work to do. We've got to do something to stop Too Tall and his gang. Don't worry, sister. We'll do something. It looks like we're short a couple of appetites tonight. Is everything all right with you two? Sorry, Mama. Sister and I are just trying to figure out our yellow popinjay problem. Mmm, sounds serious. Though I can't say that I know what a yellow popinjay is. It's a bird, Papa. There aren't many left. They're endangered. And Brother and I found one with a nest and eggs and everything in a big tree, tree in Birder's Wood. That sounds like good news to me. It is, except that Too Tall and his gang want to build a fort in the same tree, even though it might endanger the popinjay and her babies. They say it's their tree, and we say it's the popinjay's tree. Maybe there's a way you and Too Tall can compromise. What's compromise, Mama? A compromise is when both sides in a disagreement solve their problem by finding a way to work together. Both sides usually have to give in a little, but in the end, everyone wins. Well, we said maybe they could build the fort after the babies hatched and grew up a little. But they said no. Tootal won't compromise. Only one side can win this. It's either the Popinjay or the tree fort. Hmm. I wonder what Squire Grizzly would think about all this. Why Squire Grizzly, Mama? Because Squire and Lady Grizzly own Birder's Wood. Then I guess we'll just have to go talk to the Squire. And tell him that the yellow popinjay is endangered and that we have to protect her habitat. And so you see, Squire, sir, we have to save the yellow popinjay. Please. How does that sound? Save your breath. Once we tell Squire Grizzly all about our tree fort, I know he'll side with us. We'll see about that. If you cubs are looking for Squire and Lady Grizzly, I'm afraid you're out of luck. They're traveling and won't be back for a month. Ford, Pop and Jay. Uh-oh. From the looks on those faces, I'm guessing things didn't go very well at Squire Grizzly's. The grizzlies are gone for the whole month. Now what do we do? Do you remember last week when Mama had her garden show the same afternoon I had to deliver one of my chairs? You and Mama both wanted the car. Right. So Mama suggested a compromise. She went to her garden show but came home early so that I could deliver my chair. Mama missed the end of her show and you delivered your chair a little late. But when we both gave in a little, we both got what we wanted, to use the car. Compromising may be a way to settle things, but not with Too Tall. There's only one tree good enough for his ultimate tree fort. Then what about building another, even more ultimate tree fort? An even more ultimate tree fort in a different tree! But where is an even more ultimate tree fort going to come from? That's the part of the compromise where we have to give a little. We? You mean you'll help us, Papa? Thanks, Thanks Papa. Papa. That's the most awesome tree fort ever. It's the ultimate ultimate. You may be right, brother. But the important thing is that Too Tall and his gang think so. There's only one way to find out. Hey, Too Tall. Not again. Forget it. You're not going to make us move. We're not here to make you do anything, Too Tall. You want to build the ultimate tree fort? We came to show you what the ultimate, ultimate tree fort looks like. Huh? Is that a water balloon catapult? And an escape hatch with a sliding pole? You betcha. I don't get it. Are you guys building that? No, but we could help you build it. Here? We'll help you build it, but in a different tree. But this tree's the best. 
So is this tree fort. Hmm. And you're going to help us build this. My papa said he'd help too. Your papa? You've got a deal. Brother, the two tall gang might have lost the best tree, but we sure ended up with the best tree fort. We had to pitch in and help you build it, but we ended up helping the Popinjay. You know, we never wanted to hurt the bird. We just wanted to build our tree fort. I know. Now everyone is happy because we all found a way to compromise. Hey guys, come look at this. Ooh. Whoa. The Poppinjay. The babies. Aren't they cute? Cute. Yeah. Cute. Yep. They sure are.